My brother and I are constantly asked, what advice do you have for a new barber? To that, we've always answered, don't stop investing in yourself in order to continue growing. Acquire as many skills as possible. Don't let the time it takes to become great at something discourage you. Put your head down, give intentional focus, stay persistent, and most importantly, have faith. Welcome back to yet another tutorial guys. Today we're gonna be covering the high fade comb over. As usual, all the steps are in the description. We're gonna be going over our two guideline process that we usually use along with some hard part and blow drying tips. So be sure to stick around, hit that subscribe button if you aren't already. And while you're at it, please hit the thumbs up guys. It really does help out the channel. As for the top, you're gonna wanna dampen the hair and use the wide side of the comb to pick up our first section go ahead and clip that and before you pick up the next section notice how I'm grabbing a small portion of the previous cut section along with the new section and this is gonna be used as a guide so now it's simple and easy we're just gonna work our way to the side now working our way in horizontal sections we're gonna be over directing the hair from the very front you're gonna see how what we previously cut bleeds through this is again used as our guide and now just work your way to the side. Again, just don't forget to grab a section of that previous cut section. That way you use that as a guide. Keep in mind that the smaller the sections that you use moving your way back horizontally, the better it is gonna be and the less cross work you're gonna have to do. Don't be scared to dampen the hair as much as you need to as it is easier to work with. And if the hair is very, very coarse, I suggest that you use your opposite finger and actually create these sections like I did here with my comb. Creating these sections with your comb does help with very coarse hair or just very long hair. Helps you keep your work structured and clean. As you can see the crown area was previously cut very short so I'm going to come in in a horizontal manner to help blend that in. And now to start the debulking process, we're going to use our one and a half guard lever completely closed. And the reason I like to debulk is because when I come in and set in my guidelines, it's a lot cleaner and a lot easier to work with. So I always like to base my fades off the temple peak areas. As for the high fade, we're going to set it right above that temple peak area. No guard lever completely closed and we're going to set in our first guideline. As for our second guideline, we're going to take it up about a finger's width, still no guard and lever completely open. Just make sure that you are easy with the wrist and you're not digging these guidelines in so hard. Go over it as much as you need to. The point is to get these guidelines as clean as possible. Now to continue the process, we're going to use our number one guard lever still completely open. Notice how I am flicking as I approach the top of these guidelines. Continuing with my one and a half guard lever completely open. So you're going to notice how we're just going in numerical order from here. And again, just coming vertically off the head. So continuing with the two guard lever still completely open. Again, all the steps are in the description down below in case you want to follow along that way as well. Now for the number three guard, which is going to be the last guard that we will be using for this haircut. Again, lever completely open. By now you should have two guidelines. We're going to start with that top one and work our way down. Using my half guard, we're going to close the lever just slightly, putting it into what we like to call a three-fourths position. And keep in mind that this step does create a faint line right above it, but do not take this step any higher as we will come back right now with my one guard. We're going to keep that lever in that three-fourths position and I'm going to come in using mainly the corners of the clipper to attack that guideline. So now you should have just that initial guideline that we started with and this is going to take a three step process. Taking each up about a quarter inch, we're going to start with the lever completely closed. And we're going to go ahead and open up the lever halfway. This is how you know if you were easy on the wrist, your client starts falling asleep. And finally, lever completely open. Continue that same three-step process 
in the back side and in the right side i like to break down this last step into those three sides just because it is very tedious now use your trimmer in a forward position just to get a lot closer to the scalp it is going to create a faint line so turn your trimmer around and blend that out the reason we wanted to use our trimmer in a forward position is to create this faint line that's going to be used for our electric shaver so now we know exactly how high up to bring up our electric shaver a tip that i do have for the electric shaver is as you approach that guideline to turn it around like i did here and use it as if it was a pair of clippers and just blend that out and finally we're going to do our touch-up work using our half guard i'm going to go ahead and put lever play as a touch-up work always varies from one side of the head to another here using my comb to help push back those bangs and clip them out the way so we can begin with the edge up starting from the center and working our way to one side then I like to start from the center again to recalibrate to make sure I'm going straight and continue with the opposite side. Grabbing my Turkish style razor which you can find at betaculture.co along with the double edged blades. A little bit of shave gel. Applying that to the skin. Beginning by shaving with the grain using my thumb to help stretch out that skin just to ensure a softer shave. And you always want to follow that by shaving against the grain. So if you struggle with hard parts, I have this little tip for you. Add a little bit of hair gel to the hair. It's going to help you maneuver the hair a lot easier. But again, just use a little as you don't want it to get messy and clumpy. This is just to help you section it and not style it yet. Here I'm removing a little bit of weight using thinning shears over comb. Before we begin the blow drying process, you want to re-dampen the hair. Now we're going to use high heat and high speed and start brushing the hair into the direction that we want it to lay. Notice how I'm twisting the brush out right here. This is just to help us create as much volume as possible towards that front. Give us that pompadour feel. Grabbing my faded culture gel of course. And take notice on how I'm using the comb to apply the actual product. This basically just helps us pull the product from the grain all the way up. Adding a little bit of hair enhancements. And here's some before and after comparisons. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. As always let us know down in the comments below anything y'all would like to see in the future. My name is Agent Barone, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.